Well, this is the Fayetteville, Arkansas square, and that is the east side of the square there. Now occupied for almost 30 years by this uh, block long building, which was originally the first national bank, and it was taken over by two or three different times. And then Bank of America took it. Bank of America moved out two or three years ago. They're still in town, but they don't occupy this building anymore. It has various businesses in there, art shops and things. Upstairs are some condominiums. Those were added on three or four years ago. Those are expensive, half million to two million plus. Now, right, right there about the center of this building, the center entrance to the building, and inside is an atrium-like space. That, years ago when I was growing up, that was the location of the Palace Theater. I went to a lot of movies there. And to the right of that entrance was a smoke shop. And they had popcorns and candy bars and snacks. And remember I told I was talking about Walton's being in Scott's old five and nine. You know, I can't quite place where it was, but it's on that side of the square, somewhere along in there, I believe. I used to go in there all the time. The floorboards creaked in the way of Scott's. Walton was put in a, what was the beginning of Walmart in the old Scott's. They, they were only there two or three years. And the east side of the square in the 1870s. Now that's the uh, west side of the square over there. That's the bank. That's a bank over there, the Bank of Fayetteville. It's been there for 30 years or so. Over there on the uh, west side of the square was Camel Bell. It's a department store, mainly a clothing store. And I used to go in there a lot when I was growing up as a teenager. Now they turned like everything else, they turned into condos. There's condos up there, they're half million up. I don't know if you can buy them, maybe six or eight hundred thousand. I know they're nice, but I don't see any point in living up here. I can come up here for nothing. And the west side of the square in 1872. The square has been beautifully landscaped, and it's always a Pleasure to come up here and see the plantings. This is in front of the old post office. The, like everything else, most of the activity, restaurants, and shopping has moved out north. So it's hard for a business to make a, a profit up here and, get, and draw the crowd. This is the east on the north side of the square where Woolworths is. And um, this is in the 1940s. It's looking down toward the courthouse there. You'll see the part of the top of the courthouse there. This is parked in front of the, these cars are in front of the old post office. This is the south side of the square. For a long, long time, uh, there was a pennies there on this corner where the brewing company is now. Then right in there, there was a Royal Theater, which is the lowest class theater we have in Fayetteville. And people, they used to say people came into town from Madison County, that's where the country folks live. And they'd sit over there on the, that side of the square and chew tobacco and spit on the sidewalk. There's a lot of truth in it, I think. And I went into Royal a few times. People spit in the floor in there. You see, uh, Roy Rogers and Gene Autry in there. I didn't go in there too much, but you could see a western in there usually. In the south side of the square in 1872. Go well, way down there at the end of the street and see in the distance that old building down there. It's the jailhouse. The old jailhouse. It's no longer. This is a little memorial here of Senator Fulbright, a 
bust of him. He's from Fayetteville. Died a few years back. I forget what year, but 15 years back probably. And this is the northeast corner of the square in 1878. This is a gathering on the Confederate Memorial Day at the turn of the century. Here are some Fayetteville bells going across the square in their buggy, horse-drawn buggy. Don't, don't know any of those girls. This is a parade on the square in the mid-1940s. Looking back at the east side there again. You ought to be with the Republican Party and get this on the ballot. Get, I'm trying to. I've got a lot of Go to California and get it. I'm trying to get it passed in Arkansas. I don't want to go to California. This is my home. I used to come in town from Savoy, where I live down in the country, about 12 miles out west of here. And you get a park here on the square. Sometimes it's hard, hard to find a park. And watch the people go by. People would come to the town on Saturdays and walk around and round and round the square. And I enjoyed uh, seeing the, it was a colorful sight because I like watching people. Well, guys, it's been nice. I guess I'll end this portion here.